Yo, 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 what's up dudes? How are you guys all doing? Welcome to another video on Ultimate Streaming Guide. So this is a sequel on my last video. If you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it because uh, there are things over there that we'll be using in this video, okay? So let's begin. So before we get started, as I said in the last video, you guys have to leave comments on that video. So I'll answer in this. Uh, so the comment comes from my guy Gotify, which wants to know how do I get the defocus video or critical thingy uh, on my streams, which looks like this. Alright, so it's very simple. I just, uh, I got it from someone on Fiverr. Okay, so I, you, if you don't know what Fiverr is, I'll leave the link in the description. You have to log in and you have to pay someone and then he'll do it for you. It's not like I did it myself because, you know, I don't have the talent for that. But if you want it, it's very cheap. It's reliable. And yeah, I'll leave the guy that I ordered from in the link in the description. All right, now moving on, we have the requirements. Okay, so the first requirement is the overlay. It should look something like this. Come on, dude, like this looks amazingly beautiful. Like I did it myself. Uh, you guys can use it. I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can download it. Uh, don't worry, it won't show my socials and stuff. It's free to use. You, you don't have to pay anything. I mean, I just deserve a like and a sub if you haven't. So that is one of the requirements. Other one is chat box link. Uh, how do you get the chat box links? Uh, you go to Streamlabs. I'll leave the link in the description as well. Click on chat box and over here you have to get this link. Okay, you just have to copy when the right time comes. Okay, so another thing is that you need stream labels. I've already talked about this in the last uh, video. Um, so let's move on. All right. So when you start OBS, it should look something like this. Okay, uh, it's completely blank. It, there's nothing in here. So as you can see, we have a scene. We need to create our scene. Click on the plus icon, name it whatever you want. For now, we're going to start with starting soon. OK, because we're doing the starting soon. Now you, you can delete this if you want. Now over here, you have to create a source for the first source. It will be an image. OK, you can name it overlay. After you click OK, it will come up this box. OK, you click on browse. So when you click on browse, you have to navigate to the folder where you locate where your overlay that you downloaded uh, is located. For my instance, it's in a page in a in a folder called Ultimate Streaming Guide. As you can see, it's right here. You click on it, click on open and voila, look at that. It's amazingly beautiful. Uh, for now, you just have to click OK and then you lock it. OK, make sure you always lock it. So. Uh, moving on, as you can see right here, it's complete. It's halfway done. You just have to add the chat box and the social. I mean the events. So let's begin with the chat box. For the chat box, you have to create another source. Click on the plus icon and then click on browser. Over here, you have to choose chat box. Okay, and then click OK. As you can see right here, it should look something like this. Okay, don't worry, it's normal. Uh, over here. It's the URL. Where do you get the URL? You go on the Streamlabs and then you have to click on copy. OK, this is the chat box. I already shown how to get this. Click on copy and then go back. Uh, and then once you go back, click on the URL and then just paste it. So now it will be absolutely blank. So for this, you see the red uh, red lines is the rectangle okay so you just have to small uh just make it a little small and then make it just to look good in the in the stream okay so right now it's blank because no one is typing in your chat i'm not live so once you go live it will show uh okay so that's done for the chat box now we move on to the latest subscriber for now you will be needing stream labels. OK, I've already talked about this in the last video. You can go back and watch it again. Click on the plus icon, click on text. As we want latest subscriber, you have to name it latest sub. OK. Now for this, you, you can choose another font if you want. I'm going to choose uh, Gotham because it's the font I used in 
the overlay okay click on ok and then over here you have to click on read from file okay now click on browse and then go on where go where your stream labels has all the directory files okay if you don't know what that is click on stream labels click on change output directory and it will show where it is located right here my one is on external disk and stream labels and then that okay so go back and then open up external disk for, uh, this depends on your location okay it, it it's very different than mine okay you go on stream labels and as we want the latest subscriber you scroll down and the way you see most recent subscriber most recent youtube subscriber okay um, i stream on youtube so it will show youtube if you stream on twitch it might show most recent follow okay you just double click on it and then voila it will show something like this uh then click ok and then you can do that uh so it fits on the thing okay so that looks good for me and then make sure you lock it always lock it okay you just it will save you some headache all right so as we done latest subscriber we can do now latest donation so it's just the same steps latest donation click ok and then you can change the font as well it can be any font uh it's your preference click on ok read from file uh browse and then you have to choose uh as we are doing uh what we're doing latest donation right so go on most recent donation uh, you'll see somewhere right here most recent donator or donation so you double click on it and it will show something like this so right now you just have to click ok make it small there you have it dudes uh i'm just gonna quickly do for the top donator and i'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen now we have the top donator now we just have to make it a little small and boom it's done ladies and gentlemen I've, I've said ladies and gentlemen a lot of times but there you have it dudes uh it's done in the simple steps and we have the starting soon scene as i said um this is very helpful if you want like if you're taking streaming seriously and this will help to you know personalize your stream all right dude so this is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe check out my streams i stream on sundays doing fortnite gifts and uh, random stuff and i'll see you in the next video peace